Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to MK Community Brokers. My name is Mohammed. In this video, I'm going to explain to you about the protest procedure uh, of City of New York. Now, this protest procedure is going to be the sanitation worker exam. Um, obviously, I'm going to explain to you what this is in a moment, and I'm going to help you out as much as possible to, uh, you know, explain to you about this process. Now, basically, whenever you take a city service test um, in New York City, it could be for sanitation, bridge and tunnel, or anywhere. If you go to go to a place where you write in paper and pencil, they usually give you a paper like this to record your answers. Um, I highly recommend writing these answers on a piece of paper because sometimes they 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 on online they usually publish questions like you know the answers already but they don't give you the exact score number that you got so basically you could use these markings your numbers that you filled out over here on this paper and obviously your proposed answer keys and actually compare it with them and get an again obviously get an accurate how much you got rather than waiting for that you know like your results like what you got like you got an 81 82 83 whatever the case is this way you could always do it yourself rather than waiting so long so this this record of answers obviously step you step by step of what you do. Obviously, they tell you that only the letters indicating your choice of answers may be written below. Do not write <coughs> anything else on this page. You may be disqualified if you do. Obviously, you may only answer for more, one question for each answer. Like for example, one is A, two is B, such as that. Uh, if you require proof that you took this test, notify the room monitor. Uh, as you can see, whenever you take a test, this protest procedure is right over here. The you, they usually give you for this for your, uh, uh, let's say, not, not this actually example, this is just a process procedure, but they usually give you something like this on a piece of paper stating that you were here and you took the test for this amount of this amount of time. So always good to have. This actually right over here, and obviously from 1 to 150, depends on how many questions you took, depend, you know, like from here, but 1 to actually 100. But uh, obviously, as you can see, the whole, not the whole thing was over here. But... Uh, let me see, let me just take this off. Project procedure, this small line right over here. This is the project pr procedure part where if you want to protest the exam, if you think one of the questions was not correct, if you think one of the questions was really, uh, you know, like the answer wasn't really what you were hoping for or, or, or what are the cases, you can always protest the exam and, you know, obviously the procedures. They do give you the whole list right over here, section one. Obviously, you know, your, your review will be held for six to eight weeks, the date of your test. Candidates who request to attend will be mailed an appointment letter notice and will notify them of the date, time, and location of their protest review session. The rated test items, other test related booklets, the PRS, and outline guide will be provided at the PRS, but they must be re returned before you leave the PRS. So obviously, they tell you the whole thing and how to request an appointment. This is right over here. I'm not going to go over every bit of it. I just wanted to show it to you guys uh, what the procedure for pro protest is. Like I said, protest for examinations only if you feel like your questions were not really, uh, you know, like you thought that there was more than one answer or you thought the questions were not really fair. Whatever the case is, this is what the purpose of it. And obviously, admission to the protest review and how to prepare your mail in protest and how to submit protest by mail, mail in the protest report, period. They tell you all of that as well over here. Uh, this is, I just want to show you, this is the example once you pass your test. Obviously, this is just the first step when you take the exam in the school. They give you this letter that I showed you for protest. If you feel like you don't know the results right then and there, that's the thing. You usually get to know the results while you get an email, which is this. This is the notice of results that they tell you that you have passed. You get your scores and everything. Your social security numbers right over here. Obviously, the like they said again, they, they give you again for the appeal time, whatever the case is. Uh, you know, it's up to you if you want to do it. If you got like a high score, it doesn't make sense to do it. But if you let's say if you're barely passed or you got like a 69. It's better to protest if you feel like one or two questions were not really fair or whatever the case is. Obviously, you could appeal for those questions. Uh, so if you get do get a result by mail, it will usually, usually tell you that you passed. Uh, you know, that's a good sign. You pass and you're on your list number. But tests like sanitation, I'm going to give you something, guys, something. Uh, a certain test required more than a 90, meaning that you have to get like a 98. Not only 98, for sanitation, you need 100 or above in order to get called because so many people take the test. Certain tests, there's not a lot of requirement, not a lot of people go into. For example, if you go to a correction officer, you will get called very, very quick. Meaning that even if you score a 70, you will call within the six, seven months. Because they really need people. Not a lot of people go to correction officer field or correction officer training field. So they will get called quick compared to certain tests. So keep that in mind. I always tell people score high, hundreds, 
or 90s will try your best to score get a booklet to study there's always booklets to study some people study 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 so much and they end up getting 100 100 too and still competitive you still get called i know people personally that got more than 100 and they're still on the waiting list that's a lot of people they get called they get they score higher than 100 plus they get five points for residency plus if they're veterans they get five points extra now they score 110 guess what they didn't get called first than they need one else so keep in mind a lot of people take sanitation sort of tests they take a lot bridge and tunnel officer is one of them so you want to score high high hundreds certain tests like that always ask around which test is you know like you know people that you know your family friends relatives or even strangers they will even tell the honest answer the no one's just gonna lie about you know certain tests like this like i'm telling you you need a hundred or more to get it if you get a 98 99 you get in a list number but it's gonna be a very long time to wait so with that said guys i hope i helped you out as much as i can i hope to explain to you if you guys have any other questions about this civil service test or any anything else please comment like subscribe i'll try my best to help you out as much as possible as much as i can thank you again guys for watching this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it